What transpires in Glower, Chestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Glower, Chestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. There you are, Gunnar. And with a smile like I haven't seen in some time. Eivor! I thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Lavendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried Evan Gillard and Anon. Couldn't help Drew's me. Bricks of man power, the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air sich go Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. I'll need some time to... Ibian comes to the end of the Septimor. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. 
as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderly enough to labor my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunner speaks. Spence are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? The way people here talk, Kunan's boots will be hard to fill. And your feet look small. <laughs> All good friendships often start with wit battles. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? <laughs> Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowen. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then... By my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm? God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sour. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am elderly. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. A festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the Reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Canon your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Lo, in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, Kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? 
to humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety! Find somewhere to hide! Where did they come from? Fell the swine! <laughs> Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were accosted by a group of boars. Odd, but path and I usually serve. To the Grievo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. How did Tefter become Kunan's successor? He speaks with his god's fire, but I do not quite believe it. I watched the Egloy's father as Harden call on Tefter. He believes Mavanade's going to do. Hmm, tragic that is. But I think the lad can still be molded, Aver. You might be just the one to do that. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal anvil is spread down in creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives her glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink.
It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Luft. Now, that's Hooden. The things for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. I heard your voice clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with... Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewitt. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mary Lewitt haunts my door. The air is chilling and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Here, spirit, take your reward. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. <laughs> Ready to rhyme with me. Down the road from my abode, there is an open veil. Hope to God this Mary Lewitt doesn't fail. Ah, oh, have a cake for your troubles then. Ah, oh, lads getting into their cops, scaring the wee one. Good! Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes! Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar! My cakes! That's right, my love. The lady went. The white lady. Her dark eyes. What do you see, Sunan? Either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. 
Christ, I'm tall. You die now! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowerchester? They know how to have fun. to the other side of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a compass to patch this land. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire, but I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, Mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before your return. I'll give me strength. My mom Modren is known I'm a humor towish Gatran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Modron, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles.
With bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lad will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Gwilym. Not every tonsured man is a wet-eared abbey, babe. I came to God after I... Hearth and humid eyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me, and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A toast, then. To Elderman Coonan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Kevdar. May he wear the horns head high. this water I feel like Thor chugging oceans no effect to my head or step <laughs> you had the man give him something stronger <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic good give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it wow that tastes awful it feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. 
Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Very, very nice. I think I might like you even better when you're me. Tefta, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah. The greatest, greatest oath, and the greatest union. To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> shh, shh, shh. People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <sighs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here. I feel warm. Do you feel warm? Always warm here. It's a wonder you don't walk around naked. Yes, um... Well... Come on in. Tefter! Tefter! Hefter, where are you? Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ah, and the effects of that draft still cling.
Defter, are you here? 